but up to that day you still got is they're giving you the time to sort of do all the all the documents to do all your things so here we see that there is a particular time given up to a point in which if you haven't done it by that time there's a command to kill one third you following? Mm -hmm. mm. I will call, I will call that a death decree. Yeah. Okay. okay. I will call that a death decree. Very specific. Basically, I will word it in, in this way. Listen, guys. You need to follow this because otherwise, is the end of all of us. Right. Think about it. You got this amount of time and this is the due day this day at this hour midnight such and such day that day of the month that year you got up to there to put your things in order and then after that they will be you will be persecuted you will be fined you will be persecuted you will be etc 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 so it's a period of transition it's a period of transition of establishing a new system after the period of transition, which is a period of mercy, we could actually say, it's a period of mercy in which society needs to compel to that. Once the due day is, is done, then you got no, no excuse because you had, you had time before and you haven't done it. Then you will be fined, you will be persecuted, and ultimately it says it's a command to kill. Now, I want you to notice something. Who knows the day of the hour of the <laughs> Lord's coming? God. God knows and no one else. Now, what I'm going to share with you is just neat. It's, it's neat. I don't know if it will play out this way. You know, I'm, I'm the first one saying to you, you know, that there's many things to learn and many pieces of the puzzle that still cannot fit it. But I'm going to tell you this thing. The death degree in the time of Esther was appointed for a particular day, a particular hour, a particular month, and a particular part of the year. Right. That day became God's people's deliverance. Mm -hmm. The day of the death degree, when the yeah. death degree meant to be taken into effect, became the day of their deliverance. Praise God. And I thought, wow. who set up the day in the book of Esther? Who set the day? Who was set the day? Okay. What, was, what was the first, the first minister of, of the king? Haman. What was his name? Haman. Haman. Okay, so Haman set the day with evil intentions. And that day that he set with evil intentions became the day of the deliverance. Now, this is neat. Could it be possible that this demon, demon is so dummy <laughs> that is actually setting the day of the Lord's coming. Oh. Wow. That will be amazing because he's killing Jesus on the cross. And when Jesus says it is finished, the devil realizes I am finished. Yeah. When he thinks, you know, and, and he, when he realizes, I am finished. And all the demons come around him and celebrating, yeah, finally we got him. And the, dev the devil inside is said, oh man, what have I done? Yeah. I'm done. Could it be, could it be that he's actually giving us the day and the hour on the death decree? Hmm. Now, when, when that is the case, I want you to notice something. The two groups have already formed. The only reason why Christians die on this earth are as light of witnesses. The death of my wife brought, I have brought to this day already many, many people to the Lord. But dying when the people on the other side are not going to change whatsoever, what is the point? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the point of dying for a Christian if that death is not going to be seed of conversion to anyone on the other side? Yeah. There's no point. 
is going to kill one third, and the other group is the 666.6666666% on the other side. And he gives a death degree and say, guys, you got up to this day. Mm. And we start listening. To, at that point, man, I'm going to start listening to the voice of heaven because it will declare the day and the hour. But I think it will be a, double, a, a, a second witness, if you will. And the second witness will probably be the death decree. The voice of God telling the day and the, the hour and, and the, the, the day and the hour will, will have a second witness with the death decree. Could be, it could be. So what happened? That's exactly what happens. Persecution. So mm -hmm. so uh, then go uh, verse eight, sixteen. The army of the. Uh, sorry, where are we? Uh, lost yeah, my 16. place here. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was two hundred millions, and I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat. Uh, those who sat on them had uh, blue and sulfur, uh, sulfur and yellow, and the head of the horses were like the heads of, of lion, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. That's interesting. Because <laughs> have you noticed what comes out of their mouth? The evil ones. Fire and brimstone from the evil one. By these three, what? Verse Plague. 18, by these three, what? By these Plague. three, what? Plagues. Plagues. Okay. And that word plagues is in italic. It's in italic in verse 18, but it's actually part of the text in verse 20. Uh, it says, but the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues. You see that? Verse yeah. 20, by these plagues. So how many? How many? Three. Okay. How many plagues in Egypt? 10, wasn't it? 10? 10. 10. How many last plagues in the book of Revelation? 7. Plus these 3? No. <laughs> 10. <laughs> 10. The first 3 fall on everyone. The last 7 in Egypt, only on those that were in Egypt, not in the land of Goshen. When you look at the seven last plagues, Revelation 15 and 16, only on those that have received the mark. That's where the plagues fall. But these three, three that he actually talks about um, mm. uh, fire, smoke, and brimstone, by these three, and then he refers to plagues, a third of mankind was killed. But that is a third that is indiscriminatory you know like um there's people that are will be that, that are safe that will be died through that period of time and people that are not safe that will die in that period of time okay well can i just add and the one that have, oh, never mind. here you go sorry yeah i just want so to here you go, you go. it's like a really nice silver lining to this although those first trumpets are causing destruction everywhere i believe that they're coming on a time where God's people are being persecuted. Um, so um, you have a uh, something th that's doing two things, throwing the world into chaos and also lending incredible authority to the Bible because these plagues are going to come out in such a way that is very, um, you don't need to be some sort of a theologian to decipher them. They're going to come out mm -hmm. very literally the first three trumpets and anyone can crack open their Bible and say, Oh, wow, this, uh, this was written about and described 2000 years ago. And it's going to lend. So the very people who are being persecuted for following the Bible, it's going to lend incredible authority to both the Bible and to them and can completely throw the world into confusion. So that now mm -hmm. they're having to focus on dealing with these trumpets rather than persecuting God's people. Mm. So, mm. Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. just how I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, good, good, good point. And again, this not notice what 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 he actually says in verse um, twenty and twenty-one of the same chapter. But the rest of mankind 
who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of the works of their hands that they should not worship demons. Mm -hmm. Now, the works of their hands, by the way, that's actually, they got a gospel of works. Do you mm -hmm. notice that? Uh, there is something called a sign, but a sign points to something. So when we, for instance, we're talking about the Sabbath, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And it says, the Lord says, I have given you my Sabbaths as a sign, a sign of what? What actually shows that I am the God that sanctifies you. I sanctify you. That is the essence of it. I sanctify you. You don't build your work of your hands. It's not by works, it's by faith. Mm. It's by trusting in me. It's by trusting in my promises. That is, that is, that is the difference. But these guys are actually, uh, they have the works of their hands. They haven't been sanctified by the love of the truth and not by the, by, by the Lord that sanctifies them, that they should not worship demons and idols and gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood, which can neither see nor hear or walk. And they did not repent on their, of the murders, of their sorceries, and of their sexual immorality, or their thefts. Now, first, very quickly, because I, I just got five minutes left. And we got chapter 10 and chapter 11. Now, Wait. chapter 10 um, and chapter 11. Can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, what I was going to suggest, Oscar, if it works for you, is maybe we can let you go so you can take a break. And also maybe another time we, we can do another study. Would, would you be okay with doing more of these or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as, uh, it, it, look, the, the good thing is that um, if it is being recorded, and Donald, I hope it has been <laughs> recorded, um, that um, I'll talk to you later, Denise, and um, and we'll see. Because I, I want to, I don't know, to be honest, how much longer we'll have of internet okay. left. 